Hey guys, Antac here. Welcome to a game called Pantropy. This game will be coming out relatively soon, and I thought I would share information about this game because I was looking for mech-like games, and I came across this, and I am extremely excited about it. Now, the cool thing is, I'm going to show you some of the trailers and things like that, but the devs actually sent me a bunch of raw footage to go over and like cover in this video, and so I thought before we do that, I would tell you a little bit about this game. So, like I said, there's mechs in this game, and it's really exciting because it's not just that. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this game, and... There, some features make me extremely excited for it because of things that I have disliked in other games and they have already built that into their system and it's going to make it even an even more enjoyable experience in my opinion. So here's the gist of the game. Players spawn on the outer regions of this island and you have to travel deep into enemy territory into this area. There's factions and so there's enemy territory and you travel in there to get loot and high valuable ores and then in the center of the map there are powerful mobs and various enemies that won't hesitate to kill you if you're by yourself and so it's kind of rewarding multiplayer game gameplay and then there's these battles that are just raging across the landscape there are multiple biomes to conquer a vast range of weaponry and highly customizable bases pantropy is not just about uh, basic type of battles but very in-depth things and so whether you build your base above or below ground enemy factions will come after you so here's some of the various features in the game there's in so uh, first of all above ground or below ground that got me pretty excited there's in-depth crafting like I said, there's faction-based gameplay with PvE and PvP with, and this is the thing that I was really excited about, anti-offline rating systems. That, to me, makes the experience even more uh, enjoyable because I don't want to come back and my base is completely destroyed or I've been raided because I'm the type of person who I don't have a lot of time to invest in games and so... It, the, the the time I spend in game is very very valuable to me and so while I'm offline I don't want to like lose everything that would just suck so then not only that but there's farming automation so for those of you guys who like to automate things there's farming automation there's complex base building which I love base building I'm a huge fan of like modular base building and stuff then there's personal modular mechs and as you can see in some of the trailer footage you'll see like massive mechs and massive vehicles and all that is like personal like modular built and then not only that but there's multi crew vehicles and so you can probably take your friends with you there's xp systems and rewards there's multiple biomes as i said there's a quest system there's various things you can do in uh in and around the area and then you must uh go out and scavenge for all these resources to craft tools weapons armor vehicles and buildings to protect themselves from vicious alien fauna so not only do you have to worry about other players but you also have to worry about the pve elements and you can actually protect uh, your various things from them so not only that but there are quests and crafting mechanics which encourage players to brave the dangers of the game to gain experience needed to create powerful items so then with that there's crafted gear and implants that will enhance the player's ability but teamwork will ultimately decide like what happens and if you are being successful in the game now I know this is a lot of information and there's a lot going on you can check out play Pantr pantropy if you're interested in finding out more but I uh, I thought that I would tell you a little bit more about the game because as you, if you can't tell I'm really excited about it so as I said it's very important to have teamwork but you can go out into the world by yourself and do various things but if you if you were working with players and you have like multiple people with you the cool thing is is that you can actually build multi crew vehicles not just mechs but also aircraft <laughs> I mean there's just so many things about this game that like make me so excited now not only that but players are rewarded for the base building abilities as I said because they don't uh, when they're logged out, their structures can't be raided. And that, to me, is a huge benefit uh, to your time spent in the game. Now, on a large scale, players will uh, join with these factions and join wars for land and ores. And so you have these massive wars and battles going on as well, faction-based type of things. And then 
the the only thing I, I should say about the, uh, buildings is that they can't be raided. However, buildings will start to decay if they're not visited. So if you just can't like build, and so like that's really cool because if there's spawn points or valuable resources and things like that, you, you people just build on those things in other games. Well, you can't do that here because there's gonna be a decay system. I mean that's in games too, but I mean it's it's an obvious uh, thing that that should be in the game. Another thing to note too about the game is that there's no microtransactions or in-game purchases, and so there's no real like pay to win type of thing what you get is by your time invested in the game and your skill and so like what you do in game is going to ultimately decide how uh like efficient and how effective you are in the large scale battle the initial alpha phase of the game will have an 8x8 map. Future releases will support, you know, higher populated servers, larger battles, larger maps, more powerful global events. There's, oh yeah, there's also global events. I forgot to mention that. And then uh, it, it's going to be on Steam. And so it's it's a very exciting game. I'm really excited about it. I'm pretty interested in it. And uh, if you can't, if you can't tell, like I said, I've been really into mechs lately. And so uh, trying to find mechs game, mech games, and then this comes along, and I'm like, what? This has like all the best so you can get you you've got like all the modular type of building things you've got the survival elements you got the questing then you got mechs and super like scientific uh futuristic type of gameplay sorry not scientific uh futuristic type of gameplay and so it it's it's exciting to me because it's got a lot of things that i really want out of a game and i i, I think a lot of people will enjoy this as well it seems like there's quite a bit of hype around it so anyway let's go ahead and let's dig into some of the footage i'm pretty interested in uh seeing what your guys's reactions are to things and so if you ha want to leave your comments leave your feedback let me know what you think of the game in the comment section below because i'd be very interested in hearing what you guys want to what you guys think and then also if you have any ideas definitely leave them because i don't know if the if the devs are going to look at the video or not but you know your feedback is heard or you could tweet at them or whatever so let's go ahead and hop into the game gameplay and into the raw footage I should say and you guys can and we can kind of break things down a little bit in regard to base building there's advanced base building things like building an elevator which probably means we'll see massively large tower watchtower bases and things like that and that makes me excited because that makes them that, that means that you know it's just not stairs and then the possibilities of having something large is pretty real in terms of weaponry, I'm curious to know what all is in the game because we've seen, like right here, he's using some kind of automatic weapon. But I wonder if there's other, like, laser weapons and things like that because the mechs have, like, they're obviously shooting lasers. There's, like, artillery mechs. There's a whole bunch of different types of guns, so I'm really curious to know weapon wise what all is in the game here we see another type of weapon it looks like some kind of heavy laser plasma emitter type of gun and then not only that but he's fighting what's called a guard bot and i don't know if that's someone's guard bot or if that's a thing that you can find a game but there are various things in game from the looks of like some of the clips in the trailer where you can see like turrets and things that you can put up your bronzer base to guard but you saw right there that giant it's shooting like two different things, I think. It looks like little rockets, and then like this massive, massive, that's like a big rocket or something right there. Massive shot that's like blowing up around him. And so he's kind of cycling through different guns here, which I guess if I would have waited to see this clip, then we would have been able to find out what types of weapons. This looks like some kind of auto reloader shotgun or something like that. The really cool, really cool uh, weaponry from the looks of it. Now, if you're wondering why there's no sound, uh, just keep in mind the game is early in development and even sounds are still being flushed out. But I I wanted to show this clip because this is a flat cannon, anti-air. This is a base defense, something you can get and equip on your base. How cool is that? And so, and I think that ship was a player ship that somebody is flying, and so you can probably deploy out of it and land it and things like that. I mean, it's just, it's a really cool looking game, and I'm really excited about it, and I'm excited for the opportunities like this. In terms of crafting, here you go. This is like a laser smelter. It's like a furnace and you can make various things with this. In terms of mining, here you go. This is a mining mech bot, which to me means that there are multiple bots that you're gonna have to make in order to do various things in game and accomplish various goals. But there's like cargo mechs, I mean, it, it seems like there's a lot of possibilities for different things you can do in this game, and that makes me pretty excited. I think I've said excited like 50,000 times already. Speaking of the various type of bots, here, this is a good clip to show you all the various things you can get. So in the bottom here, we see like a scout, 
we see an artillery build, we see like a general mech, we see a drop ship, we see like a part that you can probably put on something, some legs, uh, another type of gun head, then a turret, it looks like the flat cannon. There's a player, there's a mech, he spawns in drones, so don't think that's some kind of bug, he spawns in drones, so you can get these drones that are probably uh, guard bots. He also spawns in a guard bot, which is what we saw earlier, that I thought was PvE, but it looks like it's PvP actually, maybe something you can make. And then I think it's important to know too that uh, remember, it's modular mech, so you can probably slap on a gun of whatever kind you want, maybe, uh, if it, like, suits the bot, if it actually works, but I think there's, like, these are probably just set bots that you can get, like, default things you can build, and this thing's got, like, Gatling guns on it, I mean, there's so many different types of things that you can probably do in this game, and the fact that it's modular means that you can probably put a different type of weapon on the side of this thing's arm, and so that, that alone means that we probably will see... I don't know, the combat situations, like to think about the combat situations and what you have to prepare yourself for, I mean, it's it's kind of rather in depth. And so you might come across somebody that you're not equipped to deal with because they have put some kind of weapon uh, on their arm of their mech that you might not be able to deal with or something. I don't know. I, I, don't, I mean, all I have to go off of is screenshots and videos, but it makes me think that that could be a possibility and, you know, we'll just have to wait and see what the game has to offer. And then also keep in mind, it's not going to just be this forever. It's going to be expanded, so more things are going to be put into the game. It's just, there's just a lot of things that could happen. And then in regard to base defense, remember we saw those little spikes in the trailer, but there are also mech barricades, like mech tank traps, essentially. And so, uh, like, multiple types of various tiers of base defense, and then, you know, want to keep the mechs out of your base, so you got these massive mech barricades as well. And then remember earlier we were talking about dropping off mechs. Well, not only can you drop mechs off, but you can obviously pick mechs up. And so picking the mechs up, taking them into an enemy base, uh, engaging the enemy right in their base or something like that. So protecting from the air is an important thing because you can have uh, a dropship come by, pick a mech up from your base, take it over to an enemy base, drop it off, and then you got a battle raging inside your territory. And so you got to have those defenses because uh, we got attacks from the air too, which is just, so, I mean, it's just, it's just so, and I think maybe the mech just like went up into the dropship or something right there. And I'm sure uh, eventually that'll be uh, look a little different, but I just wanted to show you this because that is a whole other element of the game that you have to prepare for. And then here in this clip, we see the mining tool and the various types of ores you can get. And then down below, you see a bunch of different types of guns that you can get. So you can pause it and look if you want to or whatever. But there looks like there's there's a wide array of things that you can get in this game. And that is pretty cool. The next few clips will feature multiplayer base building. Will you see these guys build a base and it, it looks like, now obviously it's not going to be this simple because they probably are in god mode and they have uh, like infinite resources and things like that. But you see supply boxes there in the middle. You see the various types of base building. There's windows, there's doors, there's like the support type of walls. And I don't know, you know, you don't want, I don't, and personally, I don't want people looking inside my base. Uh, but, you know, you can build it however you want. There's stairs. It looks like modular type of stairs. So you're not just like stuck maybe with one type. You've got pillars, you've got floors. Basic base building looking like things that we've seen in other games. But it's a good look at what uh, type of things you can get in in the game for base building. And then in this clip, we see these, like, it's a giant reactor looking thing. And I'm not sure what it does. I'm assuming it's some kind of power source. Looks like there's some kind of smelters here or some kind of something to break down various resources. Here at the top, you see large scale windows that they're making. And I mean, it, at least from what they have already in the game the core mechanics of base building seem relatively simple and pretty easy to do i just am curious to know how much materials various things take i hope it's not like an insane amount uh but i'm assuming like most dev teams they probably have flushed out the proper balance of like resources needed to make a base and how quick it can be done you know obviously you want to invest some time in the game but i think you know obviously uh things can be tweaked as time goes along but i think probably it'll be fairly balanced in my opinion so we see mechs on the outside we see some kind of i'm assuming it looks like some kind of radio radio tower or transmitter or something like that at the top there i'm not entirely sure there's also what's called a base core which i believe allows you to uh, essentially 
control the power usage throughout the base. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think that's probably what it is. It looks like there's a crafting table there, maybe a spawn point or something, a couple other types of... I don't know what all these are, but there's multiple types of like resource stations or something there. But I mean, look at this base, something you could build like that. I wish... I hope that there's going to be more like angles and stuff built into the game eventually, but for the most part, this is pretty cool to see. And then what base is a base without a gigantic perimeter gate and then giant perimeter walls? And if you look at the walls, it looks like they're thicker material, something maybe a little bit better, a higher tier, something that requires more resources. And then you'll see he puts down uh, like some uh, spike traps as well on the base and around the base. But then you also see in the background here on the right, there's some kind of pump. It looks like some kind of oil drill or a massive drill that mines for resources. Uh, but it looks like there's various types of things that you can get and do for your base for base defense they built a hangar there's ramps i mean there's a lot of things already and this can be expanded like i said i hope i see we see more angular type of stuff but maybe that's already in game too and they just haven't showed it yet and here we have the beast this is what's called the siege mech this thing is built with tons of guns massive guns this thing is probably very slow but this is what probably takes down bases and i am excited to see i hope there's a clip showing what's gonna happen because this thing looks like you can easily wreck a base and there's also like defensive turrets underneath it looks it looks freaking epic Unfortunately, I don't think that we see the uh, mech destroy the base, but uh, you can see how it moves and stuff. It looks, it definitely looks slower. You can see the guns kind of deploying in the background. This little gar mech trying to destroy. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing shooting there, but uh, multiple guns on the siege mech. Just a massive beast, side to side movement, things like that. It looks like uh, when it comes to raiding bases. There's no short supply of massive things you can use. And then before we mentioned that there are underground bases and uh, here you're going to have a look at that because there's like actual buildings you can make that have like la hatches like that you can drop down into and underground bases that you can have. Now I don't know how effective they would be but not only is there underground base building but there's also like grottos and things like that that you can build in that are like cave systems and so i wonder how like expanse the cave systems get but i wonder if we could uh like build underground bases and like store your valuable stuff here so not maybe not necessarily have an underground i mean i'm sure there will be people who have that but uh, you know, keeping your valuable things underground obviously is very important. But this is really cool to see. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this because this, this, there's many opportunities like that you could do with something like this. Just like one hatch somewhere in the woods, and there's your massive base underground. So there you go guys, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the look at all these different raw clips and things that they've done in the game and things that are coming to the game. Let me know what you are most excited about for in this game the mech gameplay the multiplayer aspect the sci-fi stuff or maybe something else and then also let me know your thoughts your ideas your suggestions tweet at the devs let them know what's what you're thinking i'd love to hear what you guys have to say hopefully you've enjoyed this thanks for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll see you guys in the game